Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So I'm reporting live from the middle of Storm Malik and our garden's taken quite a bit of a battering and I'm going to give you a show of what's happened and some of the damage that's been done. This thing that I'm holding in my hand, it's a fence panel that's been taken down and I'm sure lots of people right now are having fence panels taken down but don't go out while it's really cold and right, you know, while it's really windy and try and rescue these fence panels because you're just going to end up hurting yourself. So if you do grab something like this, don't try and put it up, put it somewhere safe. And then once the winds have died down and you're back to normal, then you can get back to putting stuff in the rightful places. I mean, my chicken house has taken quite a bit of a battering. So as we come into my chicken house, as you, if you remember, there was a nice big sheltered area here with plastic roofing panels and the whole panel has been lifted off. I've spotted it in my neighbor's garden a few doors away. So um, later on when the winds have calmed down a bit, I'm gonna go on a rescue mission to try and find that. But at the minute it's causing a bit of a problem because all the netting that was on the bars that were across here has all come down. And I mean, quite a few panels off this side have come down as well. So, um, I mean, that's one, that's a big problem that we've lost this roofing area because I mean, it's unsheltered now, so the chickens, that little monkey flies out when, when she gets a chance, don't you? So that's one bit of damage that I'm not happy about at all. So hopefully tomorrow it's going to be the work of you know, trying to recover from this damage and re-fix everything and get back to normal. Last spring, I did a video about making this cloche and the cloche was doing absolutely brilliant was a good piece of equipment to protect tender plants, but it's completely been smashed to bits. Uh, I mean, some of this plastic's gonna be recoverable, like these sheets. So let's just tuck that in there. So it's not gonna go anywhere. But it's gonna have to, cut, I'm gonna have to take it apart and try and fix it again. But it's, it's wrecked, it's wrecked. It's a shame, it's a real shame, because it took a lot of time and a lot of effort to fix that. Some people have suffered a lot more damage than me, so I'm not downplaying your damage at all, but I'm just sharing what, what's happened with me. So this is one bit that I'm not, I am quite worried about, because it's my red greenhouse roof that's complete, that's been pulled out. So I'm gonna have to re, take that piece of wood off and get it back into place before I screw it down again but that's quite worrying that actually the position that it's in there's the potential that if a gust catches it that it could rip it clean off so I might have to actually do that today rather than wait for tomorrow to do it I don't fancy being up there on ladders in the middle of this wind but I think I'm gonna have to do it oh man look at that so I built a brand new bean arch last year an absolutely lovely bean arch, really nice piece, completely smashed to bits. Oh, and there's my kale that Nathan had given me as well that's been knocked and battered over. It's ripped off all this cardboard, quite a few of my garlics have been damaged, the tops can be seen damaged off. So it's pulled off all this cardboard as well. But this, I'm just gonna pull it out and put it down so it doesn't cause any more damage. But it's in a good few pieces. So that's, it's just work that you have to end up doing that you don't wanna, you know, that you think that you've done and got, got over and done with. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's disappointing. It is disappointing. Some of those archers look a little bit wary, so I'm going to have to sturdy them up and get them, um, get them protected again. But it's dis it really is disappointing. Um, let's have a look. I mean, the wind's been so strong this year that it's even ripped off the wires on some of the, some of the uh, wires that grown into the house. It's pulled some of those down and I've never noticed it that bad. I the thing is, I don't know how, how bad this storm is compared to other storms that we've had in the past, but I've never noticed it myself to be this bad because it's caused quite a lot of damage. 
all in all, I mean, there's a little bit of work that we need to do, but we've not been we've not been hit terribly. But there's potential. The, the winds are still raging, so there's potential. I mean, a few years ago we had these winds, and I had a greenhouse out here, and the winds came, and I was holding it down. You know, I was out there clinging on for dear life, trying to keep this greenhouse down. It's one of those plastic ones with metal frames, and I was trying to hold it down, and I held it for one, two gusts, and the third one came along, and it just ripped it clean out of my hands, and the greenhouse went tumbling, flying across the garden, and smashed into pieces. And that's what all that plastic that I made that little cloche from, and you'll see bits of metal that I use every now and then, and that's what that's from. But, I mean, it's not been that bad. These arches are absolutely pathetic anyway, but um, there's a bit of damage. Two of them have stayed up, one's completely wrecked. The other ones that were up there were wrecked at, at lighter winds than this, much lighter winds than this. You didn't have to get as bad as this, and they were completely wrecked. I'm surprised this one stayed up. So these are absolutely horrible, pathetic arches. Don't buy them if you if you see them. I think they should be banned from selling them because they're that that rubbish. So you can see there's the greenhouse roof that's been ripped off or that looks quite damaged. I better get up there and try and fix that today because I'm trying my best to keep this place warm over winter and that's just not going to help at all. It's just it just won't do. I know a lot of people have had it worse. I've seen people's cars being smashed up because of the winds, trees have fallen into the garden. We're, we're quite lucky. We've got some damage, but not compared to others. But there's, there's, some, there's a bit of work to do trying to fix all of this. And it's just jobs that you don't need, you know, jobs on top of jobs. When you get, when, when you're already working flat out and you're trying to do your best to get, keep the garden maintained, this sort of thing comes along and it just sets you back a little bit. But I'm not gonna let it put me down. I'm not gonna let it stop me. There's things that uh, we can fix. I mean, I can get my son and my daughter to help me fix that roof and then they'll enjoy a little bit of pastime, you know, helping dad fix a roof. And there's things that we can turn into a family activity. So there are some positives to be had from it. I mean, the kids are enjoying watching the things flying about the garden. They were watching the garden like a TV screen this morning, watching uh, some of the things being, you know, the, as, the green, as the chicken house roof got ripped off and flew into the next door neighbor's garden, when the gusts were coming, we could see it from our attic. You can see it lying in the garden in a couple of pieces. Um, so when the winds have stopped tomorrow, I'll go over and I'll go and fetch it out of the garden and try and bring it back and see if we can get it fitted on again. But I'm not hoping. I'm not for that roof. I'm not holding out much, much hope. It's flimsy plastic, and it just it just shatters. So we'll see. Um, so there we go. Let's see if we can get this back into place. It might not be too much of a big job to do it, but let's see if we can do it. could do with a good clean up here as well but that's for another day the last thing I wanted was a gust of wind to catch that and just take the whole roof off with it but let's get down I don't like being up here when it's windy it's all just a mess at the minute because this bed I mulched it and the mulch has been ripped off I mulched it with cardboard and I'd put down some soil over the top of it and you can see the cardboard's are just a, a complete mess. It's flown up the garden. I'm gonna move this slide from here because it, the slide's been ripped off. Let me put it somewhere safe. Otherwise it's gonna end up God knows where. So let's put it somewhere safe and keep it protected. But a lot of my bread prep here has just gone to waste. Let's see what happens now. I don't know what to do. I'm not, I might just mulch that bed with loads of compost and see see how to get it back to get it back on track. I mean, it is a shame because a lot of the stuff that I'd 
aimed for has gone to pot now. But I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Yeah, we'll do something to get it fixed. Okay. I mean, let's not get too disheartened with these sorts of things because they happen, they cause us uh, a bit of inconvenience when they do happen and they cause a bit of a heartache, especially if we lose plants and stuff that we're really precious about. But there's worse things that could have happened. We're safe. Um, that's the main thing. We can keep, yeah, the things in here we can fix. We can get back to, we can get back to normal. Um, and there's lessons to be had from it as well, because now we've seen that that roof, especially with that roof on the chicken house, that's going to catch a gust and it's going to fly off. Now I've got to think about a way of ma making that in a stronger way, so it's not going to catch that gust and it's not going to fly off as much. Uh, it's not going to fly off as easily. So that's a lesson for me to learn and a lesson for me to t take. Um, when I finish, when I built this greenhouse, I meant to put down some fastening battens on those plastic sheets a couple of years ago when I first did it. And because of everything else that just got in the way, I just never got around to doing it. That's another thing for me to do is get some battens fastened on into the middle and that'll just give me some extra security. And I should have done that when I first built it and it would have been done in one job. So that's another lesson for me to learn. Because what I always do is I start a project, get into it, and then I never quite finish those little last niggly little bits. And that's one of the things that I need to get, my, you know, I need to get into the habit of actually finishing off. Uh, so that's a lesson for me as well. So for, uh, I mean, I don't know who else is like that, but I, I am like that. I jump from one project to another. But, so I need to be a bit more, uh, not, not as, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the word is, but yeah, you know what I mean. I posted a picture on Twitter of what's happened in my garden and the Daily Mail asked if they could use my picture. And you know what I told them. You can guess what I told them. I'll leave some pictures up and you can have a look at those. You know very well that I'm not going to pow in or I'm not going to give any sort of respect to the Daily Mail, not that kind of dirty paper. But tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully the wind's going to die down by tomorrow and I'm going to get out here in full force and we'll get on with some serious work and we'll get it all fixed. We'll get, this, we'll get a lot of this work fixed and we'll start doing some work on what we're planning on doing for the rest of the February. So keep an eye out for the February what to, what to do in February video. It should be following this. Don't forget, we also make videos on Patreon. So if you would like to support our channel, I'll leave a link for it up here. There's lots of bonus content on there, lots of behind the scenes footage, and um, it's, it's a great way of supporting us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you like this sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe and ring the bell, and then you'll get the notifications whenever I put a video out. So I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.